Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and I just got back from the AHR Expo, also known as the ASHRAE Show. And the question that I got asked most often was, how do active chill beams work? So I thought I would cover that today. So active chill beams have a supply air inlet for ventilation air and a cooling coil to handle the space load. They use convection and induction to cool the space. So they look something like this. So we'll draw in an inlet, and then here's the back side of the chill beam. The face is usually a perforated section or a linear bar section, and then up here there's actually a separate plenum with nozzles that the supply air comes into. And then we'll have our water coil just on the back side of that perf face. So let's label this. This is the supply air. In an active chill beam, the supply air is usually 100% ventilation air. Down here is our cooling coil. And then these are nozzles. They'll run the length of the chill beam. So supply air comes into the top and goes through the nozzle and then out the slots, just like a standard slot diffuser. That creates a low pressure zone that brings air up into the face of the chill beam. It goes up to the center, the perf section, over the water coils, and then the water coil will cool it. That air will come out and mix with the supply air that's going into the unit. So that mixed temperature air is what goes into the space. A typical induction ratio for a chill beam is about 1 to 4 or 1 to 5. What that means is if you have 50 CFM ventilation air that's ducted to the unit, you'll get somewhere between 200 and 250 CFM of air in your space to handle your cooling load of the space. So that's the basic operation of a chilled beam. I've done a couple chilled beam podcasts in the past, so if you want more detail on why to use chilled beams or where to use chilled beams, you should check these out. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.